What is going on guys? Zuko back with another Dragonflight video. Hope you're all doing really well. Hope you're having fun in the Dragon Isles. I'm having an absolute blast here on my character. I got a couple more outdoor activities that you can do to progress your character before Mythic Plus and Raid drop next week. I think there's lots of little things you can do to get gear and resources, and we're going to talk about them today. I'm going to start with the Cobalt Assembly down here. There's some cool rep I'm going to talk about down there in a, a little talent tree that's associated with the Cobalt Assembly. Very, very cool. There's the um, Ailing Camp. That is uh, down here in the Anarum Plains. You can't see it right now, but I'll show you in a second exactly what's going on there. And then there's also uh, the Dragonbane Keep, which I'm at right now. A bunch of events and rares to kill over there. And also the weekly quest for loot and rep, which I'm finally almost finished. I'm going to talk about all those things in this video, so buckle up. Let's get right to it. All right, guys, I'm here at the Cobalt Assembly. So... This is the second week. Remember there was a Cobalt Assembly World Quest last week, and it always gives you this 369 piece of gear, which is really, really good. This is an upgrade for me. On top of that, there is just this Cobalt Assembly area. So the fighting area is over here, right? It's up over there. But over here is there is an NPC, and he actually has a little talent tree, which is apparently every single faction has a talent tree now. But you can see when you're doing... The Cobalt Assembly stuff, which gives you all the, like, Torghast powers. It's like the mini outdoor Torghast zone. Um, you have a little talent tree you can get. So whenever you defeat an enemy, uh, you get 3% of your maximum health. Get an Absorb Shield after you choose a Wild Arcana power, which is those sort of Torghast powers that you get to choose. Now, it does cost regular Dragon Isle supplies. So I'd be kind of careful how much of this stuff you're going to spend. Um, I'm just going to get one for this quest that I'm doing. I forgot to do this quest last week and get this started, but you can kind of get that started right away. But if you want to increase your rep really quickly with the Cobalt Assembly, that could be a really big one because that means you can go to the Quartermaster here and get the different items that you're kind of looking for. Maybe you just want some transmog with them. Um, it's mostly transmog after at the end of the day, but um, you can get some other stuff here too. Now, um, yeah, this is just really cool. I didn't realize that all these different people had like their own talent trees. So I think that's kind of neat actually. Uh, and this can help you just do the cobalt assembly quests a lot quicker. That's the bottom line. So I just wanted to mention that, uh, this really cool cobalt assembly quartermaster here and, and, uh, talent tree. And it's right here on your mini map. So it's in the Azure spam right at the very North part of the Azure span here. Okay. All right, guys, we're here at the, uh, this is the Alang camp. It's in the Anarn Plains. So if you guys have started doing the reputation for um, the Maruk Centaur, you will unlock this camp pretty early on. I think it's uh, here. So rank three of your renown, you get called the Plains. The Alang nomads will welcome you to their camp wherever it happens to be. This is a very significant amount of rep that you can farm from this place. So... They're going to have daily quests. Those are the blue exclamation points, right? And they go out and they just kind of chill in an area. So right now you can see they're here for three days and 41 minutes. Yesterday they were kind of like over here. And they only they only stopped over here for like maybe a, a full day and a half. So it's not the same amount of time every single time. But they will venture all around the Anaran Plains. And you can just catch up with them and pick up these quests. And these quests are awesome. They give you a lot of rep. There's 300 rep in this one. 150 there. There's two other quests here. Let me see how much they are. 150 there. So we're up to 600, 750 rep. So 750 rep in total just from the quests that these guys are going to give you. And the, the quests will always be nearby. So a couple of uh, ones you can do here. Uh, I think the rest of them are kind of over here. But um, it's a very, very good source of rep for the Maruk Centaur if you want to be, if you want to get it that way. And um, at the same time, it'll also contribute to other quests that you're doing, like aiding the Accord. So right now, this is the weekly quest that I'm on. You'll get this every single week. Don't don't forget to pick this up, guys. Um, this was just in Valdraken. It's from the main uh, the main city there. There's a guy that you can pick it up from. But each week, this weekly quest will be different. So like this week, it's all about the Anaran Plains, and you have to go and do. Uh, participate in a hunt, which I just did a second ago. There's hunts going on all the time, right, in order to get this weekly quest done. Last week, I had to go participate in a feast down here at the Iskari Tuskar capital uh, city there. I had to participate in a feast and get a bunch of rep. But 
the aiding the accord isn't too difficult to do honestly 3000 rep actually isn't that hard but this is one way that you can easily get 750 of that 3000 rep just by going to the a lane camp and doing their their quest that they've got for you there so it's kind of a double whammy you're going to get a bunch of rep for the maruk centaur you're going to get a bunch of rep for aiding the accord as well so it's kind of a it's an awesome thing to go do whenever you see this camp up just fly over there really quick and see if you have quests that you need to do it's a very uh, easy way to continue to get rep for the maruk centaur i think this is one of the areas of the game that i was wondering about like once i've reached sort of higher levels of renown how do i continue to get reputation for each of these factions and it's just really cool to see that Blizzard has created a way that you can continue to get rep for the Maruk Centaur right here with the Alien Camp. There's other little things, right? Like I unlocked uh, the climbing gear quests for the uh, Dragon Scale Expedition. That was from the Waking Shore up here. That's going to give me continuing rep with the Dragon Scale Expedition. As well, in uh, Thaldrassus, I unlocked the ability to do uh, world quests for dragon riding. So I haven't seen one come up yet, I don't think, but you can complete dragon riding world quests, which will continue to increase your rep for the Thaldrassus people as well. So just cool to see. But for the uh, for the continued reputation grind in the Unarmed Plains, this is one of the best ways to do it, and it will also contribute to your aiding the Accord as well. All right, guys, we're over here in the Dragon, uh, the Obsidian Citadel, and we're about to start the Siege on Dragonbane Keep. This is another event that you guys can can do, and this is part of one of the two major zones in the Dragon Isles that you can essentially farm rares on. So if you're, like, all done a lot of the questing that you want to do and maybe the the profession stuff that you've been working on and you're looking for something else to do in the open world, there are rares you can farm up here in the Obsidian Citadel. They, they will occasionally spawn. Usually the respawn timer is like three to five minutes kind of thing. Down here in Brackenhide Hollow, in the outdoor part of Brackenhide Hollow, there's also a bunch of rares you can farm down there. But up here, right, you know, we're going to start the Obsidian Citadel, uh, Dragonbane Keep Siege in a second, but I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that there is something you can do on the daily in this area. You can essentially just farm rares, and they will drop different types of gear. I just see my inventory is glowing right there. I just farmed one rare, and I got this drop right here, the Blazing Essence. Now, it's a trinket for agility users, so the rares that you're going to kill have standardized drop pool. They, they, not standardized. They have uh, specific drop pools. You can't change what they're going to drop, so they're not necessarily going to drop something for your class or your spec. But that's okay. You'll, you'll eventually find something probably for your spec. They drop lots of different things. But that's what's really cool. You can get items like this. This is item level 369. That's insane, right? I think it's based on your item level. So try and get a high item level if you can. But just remember that these there are a bunch of rares here. And you can farm them. And they will drop items. And it's another thing you can do on the Dragon Isles to keep yourself busy if you've kind of run out of other things to do. All right. So the timer for the Siege on Dragon Bane Keep has gone down to zero. And this happened last time, and it, it takes a few, like, seconds or up to a minute, actually, after um, after the timer's even gone down to zero before uh, this guy will sort of start the actual encounter. So just keep that in mind that even if the, ta if the timer reaches zero, don't freak out. The Dragonbane, the Siege of Dragonbane Keep will begin. You just have to uh, be patient. All right, so... The stage one for the dragon uh, keep has has begun. It starts out with the wagon. You can actually find little things on the side of the road here to feed to the uh, to beef here. You can toss beef some food, which is pretty funny, and I think it's a fun little addition to it. But we're making our way up the road. We're protecting the caravan. We're gonna work our way all the way into Dragon Bane Keep here. So you can see, oh, there's there's an icon for a rare right there as well. Harky Grimstone, you can go kill that guy if you want to. This is an example of what the rares, what a symbol might look like for the rares. So just keep that in mind. While we're trying to make our way to the Dragon Bane Keep, we will be attacked by these soldiers. So you have to defend your little frog guy there. You'll make your way over here. There, we're on uh, section number two. You got to build the little base here. So you're going to see people are going to start putting up these buildings. There's one right there. It'll You can just try and click on it. But everybody, this is a big group event. So there'll be lots of people doing it here. There we go. Once the structure is all built, the next phase will begin. There we go. Push across the battlefield. Take out both Dejardin lieutenants. So we need to push. There's one on the map there. You can see it'll, it'll show up for you. And I'm going to run over here. We'll tag the other guys over here. You can see he's getting killed right now. 
Okay, once these two lieutenants are dead, then we can push on to the next section. There we go. We need to kill some Dejardin forces as well, just some regular old people. Everybody's kind of pushing forward, which is where the next phase will take place. There we go. Now, uh, Grand Flame Slain. He's up here. This is it right here, this guy. There we go. Now we go inside. Okay, so there's a big guy, Inferno the Bound. We got to kill him. There we go. And that is the event right there. Now, you'll get Reputation, of course, with the Valdraken. And you're going to also get a one of those caches, one of those little bags of, like, spoils. And it's going to have extra... Um, uh, it's going to have extra rewards for you. Oh, here's a rare right here. Captain Lancer. We got to run. There, we got another rare we can kill here. So these rares will pop up all over this zone. And you can kill them and uh, get gear from them, potentially. Okay, so let's loot this guy. There we go. We got a lance. Now, again, this is not an item that I can use, unfortunately. But... Look at this, this is 376 item level. This is just a great place to go around and farm for gear. If you're looking for gear on your character, this is a wonderful way to do it. You just you just stick around the Dragonbane Keep or Obsidian Citadel area, I'm sorry. Just stick around here and look for rares. Look for them on your mini map. Look for them in the main zone. This is a great great place to try and get some extra gear for yourselves. And guys, while you're running around um, picking up rares in the Obsidian Citadel area, you can uh, acquire keys, basically. So you're going to get these key fragments right here. And you can combine 30 key fragments and 3 key framing uh, to, to create a greater uh, or restored Obsidian key. So I have a restored key, I believe, right here. So I've made an obs a restored Obsidian key. I can go give it to Rathion here, and he'll give me a reward. So you can give it to Sibelian or Rathion, whichever one you want to kind of gain more favor with. So I can give it to him here. I'm going to actually, I think, wait. I'm going to go give it to Sibelian because I think I have more uh, sort of cause to give it to him. There we go. So Sibelian's over here. Can do the same thing over here. Unlocking our past. There we go. Restored key. He's going to give me an obsidian cache. There we go. Again, I'm continuing to get rep towards my weekly. I'll open the cache. It just gives you gold, Dragon Owl supplies. It's nothing crazy, but again, it's just something else that you can farm. If you're looking to maybe get rep with Sibelian, hanging around in Dragonbane Keep, just killing rares is a great way to do that. It's a great way to basically kill two birds with one stone. Do the Dragonbane Siege that you want to do, but also kill rares, potentially get, get drops from those rares, and then also get rep for Sibelian to help you with um, his like quartermaster. If you want to potentially buy stuff from him, that's the best way to do it. So this is another thing that you guys can do, guys. This is a really big sort of open zone, a big event that you guys can take uh, participate in if you want to, and it's got lots of different rewards for you.